so what we can do here is we can add a condition that is if the user tap on this then the user will start speaking and during that time during the speaking here will be the animation which will be like the virtual assistant or you can say the Friday is listening to the user commands so for that purpose let's quickly add a package come back here to the pub.dev site and we need to simply search for loading animation widget which is this one loading animation widget click on installing and just copy this dependency come back to the project and popspec.yml just add this dependency here pub get so it has been added successfully in our project now let's just come back here and here we can simply say first we will add a condition of course so we can say if speech to text if it is already listening if it is already listening then in that case we have to display the animation so we can say inside the center widget let's add else okay let me tell you what we have done here so if it is already listening if the, our virtual assistant is already listening then in that case we will display the animation inside this center widget otherwise else if it is not already listening that is if it is let's say in idle state then in that case you will see this icon this icon okay so let's just quickly implement the animation loading animation widget dot beat and first the color we have to set it will have multiple colors okay in order to make it more beautiful so we can add this according to a condition that is if speech to text instance dot is listening if it is in listening mode then we have to display the color in that time at that time the color will be deep purple just like this else let's say during speaking let's say if any type of loading occurs then we have to also add a condition for that so i'm going to create here a boolean type variable now loading will occur when the speech will be sent to the open ai okay as you know the open ai will respond the chat gpt will respond your question it will answer your question so of course it takes some two or three seconds that is basically what i mean by loading or let's say the virtual assistant take your voice commands and it is converting it to text so that converting to text let's say it will also take some two or three seconds for example so that is also the loading so for that purpose we are going to add a boolean type variable is load let's say is loading okay we will give it the default value false so let's say if it is loading the other condition we will add basically we are using a turn uh, nested ternary operator so we can say if is loading then and when it is loading the color will be colors dot deep purple 400 otherwise the color will be colors dot deep purple 200 and you have to add a null check with this so if the speech is listening that is if it is started then in that case the color will be deep purple and we then check if is loading if it is loading then the color will be this otherwise if it is not loading then the color will be this so this is the color property for our loading animation widget dot beat next thing is to set the size so the size for this will be 300 okay
so yeah that's it we are ready to test the application so I'm going to show you the screen let's install the app on our phone So the app is running now as you can see and it asks for the permission allow Friday virtual assistant to record audio so yes while using the app allow to find yeah we, we need to allow it and now let's just tap on it you can see the animation and I am speaking so it is now converting my speaking to text so let's see how it gets let's silent for some seconds and it will stop as you can see so when I stop it is it converted that I am speaking so it is now converting my speaking to text so let's see how it gets let's silent for some seconds and stop you can see so that is really cool and really nice it is working fine now next thing is we have to basically add uh, add some space from the top in order to make it little bit I mean move it down here okay so above the center we can simply say const size box of height 40 will be enough now let's just test the app again to see how it looks so the app is running now and now when I tap on this let's speak now when I am speaking it is recording okay and you can see that it is adding it with the sentences I hope you can see the result here can you see the run here okay when I am speaking it is just adding my words to it okay it just keep adding to it now I am going to stop and show you the result so you can see these are the exact words which I speak while recording this video and you can see that the virtual assistant speaker was on that is I was talking to Friday or you can say to virtual assistant so it basically convert my speech to this text which you can read so as you see that uh, the speech is finished okay that's why it give us at the end this complete sentence sentence now if you want to stop this animation then of course you can do that as well but of course we will stop it the moment we send our this speech to the open AI in order uh, for the chat GPT to respond to our question and answer our question okay but for now let's say if you want to stop it manually then you can do it by the on click event let's say on this button I want to stop this okay this animation so this button where we have here it is okay here which is basically this button so let's say if the user tap on it then we will simply stop listening now we have to call this method and it will stop it let's say for example this is your close button okay this is just I'm saying okay let's say if you want to stop it by a click event of course it will automatically stop whenever we send our response to the OpenAI chat GPT when we send our this tag to the OpenAI chat GPT and chat GPT OpenAI will respond to our question that is chat GPT will answer our question okay so that is something that we will do in the upcoming videos for now I'm just saying to you guys that is how you can close the animation uh, by any click event if you want let's say of course we do not want that but just I'm showing it to you because many students will get confused that how we can do that okay so as I run the app again let's say I'm going to so the moment when I tap on it as you can see it start listening now and you will see the result here okay you can see it is just exactly converting my words to the speech as you can see here so now the moment when I click on this close button it will just stop the animations as you can see if I click again then you can see it start listening so now I'm saying let's say hello guys this is a beautiful virtual assistant app using open AI 
and I hope you can hear that uh, beep sound okay when I silent for let's say three four seconds then it automatically stops and you can see up to here that is after this open AI word I just keep silent so it start uh, stop listening automatically okay so you can see these these are the exact words which I said the exact sentence which I said now if you want to close the animation manually then of course you can click here and it will uh, stop the animation as well but as I told you this is an automatic process which we will do when we will send our uh, speech result to the OpenAI chat GPT okay so that is something that we will do in the upcoming videos okay that's why I undo the code as we do not want that manually we want the automatic process the auto process so yeah this is all about how we can implement the speech to text feature in our flutter application